Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can configure security roles for custom entities in Dynamics 365. So keep watching and stay tuned. All right, so here we are in our Dynamics 365 environment and we are in our solution called Tech Quantum over here. So let's just go ahead and create a new custom entity. So click on new and click on entity. And let's just say that we create an entity called a leave application, provide a plural name over here, leave applications and the system name. So you can change it before you save the entity. Usually uh, you use a primary image for, uh, for an entity if the entity is displayed on the application or the UI. And similarly, if you want to choose a color, you can provide a hex um, hex value of the color. And for that, you can actually go to uh, various resources online. Um, so there are many resources available online where you can actually choose um, the hex. So let's say I want to choose this particular blue color. So let me just copy that. And I can provide this color over here. So my entity color becomes the dark blue over here. Uh, usually when you're de designing a solution, you would rather ask your UI designer or the person who's responsible for the UI to give you a particular company color that, that needs to be there. But of course you can choose you know, um, the hex value from uh, online resources as well. Now, as far as the ownership is concerned, let um, we have already discussed this in a previous video, how, what kind of ownerships are available. So let us just select user or team over here. Now, this is not an activity type entity. So I will not select this value over here, which is called define as an activity entity. If you select that, then this becomes an activity rather than a simple custom entity so over here we can define a description over here let's say leave application is used to register leave so whatever description you want to give and similarly you want you can select areas over here that you know where do you want to display this entity so let's say i just want to display that under sales but you can choose um, other areas as well well um, as far as leave application is concerned it makes much more sense with projects and services but let me just select sales over here now, again, if you have uh, business processes that are mm, defined for this particular entity, then you need to select this. And as you can see, there's a plus sign over here, which means if you select that once and save it, you cannot change it. You cannot disable it. So you need to select only if you require it. Now, business process is something which we will discuss when we discuss, uh, you know, the functional side of, of things. Then we'll come again and discuss that in, in some other video. Similarly, there are many other properties like feedback, notes, if you want to activate notes, activities, connections. So all those properties that you have plus sign against them, they are the ones that, you know, you can activate them. And uh, once you activate them and save it, uh, you cannot go back or you cannot disable it. So just try to use, use it when you, it is absolutely necessary. And the ones which do not have the plus sign against them, like mail much, you can always disable or enable them wherever it is required. Similarly, there are many other properties that you need to see, but the important part that I need to uh, show you at the moment is creation of this entity. And then uh, you there's something called as primary field. And since I have not saved the entity yet, I can go ahead and um, you know change the value of let's say the display name I can say um, application ID and uh, let me just keep the name as it is I can change it right now but let me just keep it as it is uh, so that you know the system takes the default value right away um, now there's field requirement now over here you can select if this field is a business required or just a recommended field or an optional field. The data type will be single line of text by default, format text and maximum length is 100. So once you're done with that, you can actually save it. And you will notice that once that is saved, and if I go to primary field again, I'm not able to change the primary field values over here. Uh, there's another tab called controls. Uh, now we'll discuss that in upcoming videos. And this is much more relevant when we go to the designing of the UI, especially forms and other things. Then we'll discuss this control part as well. So for now, we have created our custom entity. And we can again go ahead and click on publish so that this entity now is available in the system to be used. 
So this is how you can create an um, entity in a system. According to the older documentation, uh, the maximum number of entities that you can create in Dynamics 365 is 300. But I believe that there is no upper limit because then there is this documentation over here where it says create and edit metadata. Um, if you go down, then uh, the documentation mentions that with uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 online, there is a limit to the number of entities that you can create. As I said, it's 300. But it also mentions that if you need more custom entities, contact Microsoft Dynamics technical support, the upper limit can be adjusted. So that's why I said that I don't think there's an upper limit, but because you can go more than 300 if you contact. Uh, Microsoft support team. All right, so we have created our ent custom entity. So how do we define uh, the security rules for that? Well, for that, let's just go to the settings, go to security, and then click on security roles. And let's say, let us just pick up account manager over here. So if you go to core records, you will see that there are privileges and access levels which are already defined. But what about our custom entity, which is not available in the core records? Well, for that, you need to go to the custom entities tab and then look for the entity that you had created. And this is the entity that we created and we can adjust the access levels over here. So you can create a custom entity and adjust the security under the custom entities section in security roles. Now, if you want to know more about the security, the access levels and the privileges, uh, there's, there was one of the videos which I had created some time back, which discussed this in detail. So I will provide a link in the description below. You can have a look into that. So why don't you go ahead and uh, try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel Tech Dynamics. Bye bye.